If you work with audio, embedded systems, embedded audio, real-time audio, you eventually will have to work with C and C++. And sometimes it can be very convenient to run some C++ code in Google Colab, especially for fast prototyping or if you're doing something using different languages, and designing a filter in Python, for example, and then implementing in C++, you can make use of Google Colab environment also to run C++ code. One of the most simple ways to run C++ C and C++ code in Google Colab is to use uh, the compiler. So, for example, here we'll uh, write a code to add two integers. So we write a header file here. So uh, it has the prototype that's adding some y. Then we are writing this add.cpp where we will implement this function to add. In our main file, we'll just print the sum of uh, 3 and 4 is, and then we are calling this function that we defined here with the prototype here. And here, we are just calling this script bash, and then we are running C++ with the main CPP, which is here, the add CPP, which is here. We are using the standard C++11, and we are writing this test file in here, so when we run, you have here the, the files being created in our directory. And voila, we have 3 and 4, the sum of 3 and 4 is 7. So this is the very simple uh, program we wrote here. We have a header file, we have external cpp file, and we have our main. And we are calling the G++. And we have this uh, very simple way how to run C++ code inside Google Colab. Another way that we can run um, C and C++ code inside Google Colab is to create and to register a cell magic. So we are going to import a register cell magic from my point, IPython for magic. Here we define this. Um, Cell magic. So now when we run this magic cell and we call magic cell using CPP, so everything what will be inside here, this cell would be compiled. So here we see we have the call of the G. This will compile and will display the output. So we have here our hello world. So this is also an interesting way we created this. Um, Cell magic, and we can now execute some C code and have the output here using this uh, cell magic. Another powerful way to run C and C code inside Google Colab is to use a Jupyter kernel. So uh, there is the Xeo Ceiling C Jupyter kernel. We can install uh, using Conda. It's much easier, otherwise we need to install all the dependencies and it um, can take much more time and effort. So we will follow the same procedures like um, the previous time, but instead of installing Conda uh, to use with the pre-installed uh, Google Colab packages, we will install Conda in a different folder and we'll have separate environment for Conda. There we will install the CLC link and we will install JupyterLab. So the commands are almost the same. We are downloading this file here from the Anaconda repo, install Miniconda. But here we will install Miniconda on this folder so it will appear here for us. So let's run this install Miniconda. Now Miniconda is installed here, and just for convenience, I'm going to create a symbolic link to make life easier. And I also will create a symbolic link for Jupyter.
So we have Conda. I will install Jupyter Lab. Now I will install CLC Link. I will check now if uh, CLC Link was installed correctly. Back list. So we have here these three kernels available. Or um, C++ standard 11, 14, and 17. Let's start our Jupyter Lab. Let's see. We have here our token. Here now we are installing Pi and Grok like we did previously. We can now try to connect. We need to pass here the token. It's loading Jupyter Lab, and we have here our kernels. So let's start the uh, C plus plus eleven, and we have here some output from the C plus plus kernel. Here we have one more example using a vector. For a more advanced example, let's start a C14 notebook. Let's go back here to the Ceiling um, GitHub. There are some examples here if we go to notebooks. So first I'll copy this uh, image and I'll bring it into our collab environment so now we have this Mary inside our collab environment let's go back to the notebook and let's see an example so here we have uh, an example an image example let's copy this Paste it here. Run. Here. Et voila, we have this picture using C inside our Celsiline kernel running in Jupyter Lab. In this notebook we also have this audio example so we can copy this code. We need to get this audio. So this is what we are doing here. Copy the code here. We get this WAV file here and then we can play all of this using C++ and Excel Selene kernel inside our Jupyter Lab and we could also use a Jupyter Notebook uh, classic Jupyter Notebook if we um, prefer to work or if you want to use some other extensions that's not all available on Jupyter Lab but we can see that it's uh, really interesting and powerful